What's going on guys? Welcome back. The day has finally come that we can move the bristlenose pleco into the planted tank. So uh, let's check him out. He's done He's done a one month quarantine. Actually, it's been a month and two days. So he's, uh, he looks perfectly healthy. Obviously he's done his quarantine now and uh, it's time to get him in the main tank. So let's do it. Right, so I've got the lid off both tanks. Um, so I'm gonna attempt, I think I'm gonna try and grab him by hand, put him in this jug and then we'll get him in the tank. So, um, yeah, I'll uh, try and catch him now. Ooh, there he is at the back. Don't know if you can see from there. Little uh, super red bristle nose pleco he is. Now he's hit again. But I think this is gonna be quite hard actually to catch him, but uh, we'll give it a go. Right, so I got him out. Uh, ended up having to use a net because it was pretty hard to catch, but it didn't take that long. Um, don't need to do any sort of acclimation because water temps are exactly the same, water chemistry exactly the same, so just going to quickly get him out of the jug and put him in the tank. Right, so he's in. Uh, let's see if I can spot him. He was just over there. He was just just down there. There he is. I'll see if I can get a better view. No, I can't see him from there. Hold on, let me have a look round. Right, so he's in. Lid's back on. And I think he went straight down on this piece of wood. Yeah, there he is. Let's have a little look from this side. Oh, you can just see his little head poking up there. He seems all right. Yeah, there he is. But yeah, he'll probably, probably hide for a little while. And then as he gets settled in, we'll probably see a bit more of him. There is actually, even though this the glass does look clean, there is a bit of algae on there, so he'll be able to crack on with that. Plus, I'll carry on putting a few algae wafers in for him. I also added his little pleco cave, which is just there. Had that in the quarantine tank with him, so it looks quite nice, sort of. I don't think you'd majorly notice it, especially when I think when it gets a little bit of algae on it, it'll look a bit more natural. But yeah, that fitted in that little gap nicely. The rest of the tank's looking good. I also added this bit of wood for him, because... Um, Plecos like to have a bit of wood in there. I know we already had that piece of wood in the middle, but I thought I'd add that as well. I also added this big rock, because I think they quite like to suck on a big rock. And the only other thing I did was to increase the water temperature from 22 degrees to 23 degrees, because I think Plecos prefer a little warmer. So, but, uh I do think some people do keep them in unheated tanks, but from the research I did, 23 seemed like the minimum. So I thought I might as well, there's a heater in there. The rest of the fish in there will be more than happy with that increase by a degree. The snails, also I'm planning on putting some shrimp in there at some point. They'll, quite, they'll be fine with that temperature. So yeah, it's looking good. Hopefully it settles in nicely. In other news, I was planning on rescaping this tank now because what the plan was was to move these three guppies. I've got these three really old guppies. Um, I was going to move them down to the quarantine tank. Now it's empty. Uh, so I could redo that tank because it's looking a bit rough. But um, when I put the cycled sponge filter in the quarantine tank, it had some rice fish eggs on it and one of them did hatch so i've got a little baby rice fish you can just see him swimming around at the back there there he is he's grown a fair bit but yeah he's probably well he hatched almost straight away so he's probably about three four weeks old now so i've just got to wait till he gets big enough that i can put him in the main tank so i don't know how long that'll be probably a couple of months but hopefully he'll grow up and then we can i probably won't put him in this tank because this tank's already pretty full but i've got another tank downstairs which I'll probably put him in. 
So, um, well, it's nice to have a little baby in there though. So, yeah. And as far as Mo the goldfish is concerned, uh, if you didn't watch my last video, I brought Mo the goldfish in from the pond because he's got some cloudy eyes, which I think from doing some research is probably some sort of fungus. So I've had him in here treating him. Not, I think they've got a little bit better, but I'm gonna carry on treating him for a little while. I've got a few different things that I can try. Uh, I did a big water change in there this morning, so it's a little bit cloudy, some sort of little bacteria bloom, but he seems completely well in himself. Uh, it's just the eyes are still a little bit cloudy, but I'm gonna keep him in the tank, in this tank over the winter, try and get him as healthy as I possibly can before putting him back outside in the pond uh, in the spring. So uh, yeah, that's good. Annoyingly, I did get some Ickex on the floor. So if anyone knows how to get that blue Ickex off um, carpet, let me know. But yeah, that's Mo. And uh, that's about all that's been going on really. Also, I have actually been picking up some scaping supplies, picked up this bit of wood, which should fit just nicely in the guppy tank for when I do rescape that. And I've uh, got these rocks, I've got holes in, was potentially thinking about using them in uh, Moe's tank at some point, because I thought I could put plants in like the holes, because they go all the way through the rock, and that would hopefully stop Moe digging them up, because I think that is a pretty big issue with goldfish. And I would quite like to put some balisonaria in there. I thought that'd look pretty cool. And I thought them rocks might work with that. So I might try that. So that's about it really. Hope you've enjoyed the video. The only other thing I did was I bought some pond plants. So I'll just show a little bit of footage of that now. Uh, that's some parrot feather, which uh, I think it's pretty good for goldfish. It spreads pretty nicely, good oxygenator, helps keep the water clean. So, and apparently it's fairly evergreen. So we'll see how that goes because obviously the weather is getting pretty chilly now so most of the plants have started dying off in the pond so i thought that would work quite nicely in there but uh yeah that's about it really hope you enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe and i will uh see you on the next one